uh, extemporaneous speech is not my long suit, um, but um, I didn't realize that was what I was doing, going to do when I filled out that yellow slip. Anyway, to make a long story short, uh, I met Mr. Smallwood uh, as I had him as my guest speaker at Kiwanis of the Greater Pismo Beach area, with which I am a member, and uh, which I have met uh, Chairperson Lynn Compton as she was a guest speaker there one time, and um, I uh, had a copy. Had a um, it was my turn for a guest speaker, and I had a copy. I just received a copy of the California Register, and I perused that. And when I did. I had an inspiration, I will have Mr. David Smallwood as my guest speaker. And when he showed up and we had that at, at the meeting after the agenda was handled for the club, uh, he gave a spellbinding dissertation uh, about the Kristen Smart case and some of the things that he had accumulated. and. Uh, he held, like I said, he held that group spellbound, and I noticed that when he, as he ran 10 minutes beyond a lot of time. Uh, at the end of this meeting, uh, many, many of the uh, members came and shook his hand and uh, lent their support to him, and um, I think I can speak for most of the members of the uh, Greater Pismo Beach uh, Kiwanis Club uh, as a member of the board. Um, that we are in support of uh, taking care of this and getting this taken care of and bringing closer to not only to Kristen Smart, but others who are, whose cases are in suspended animation as well. Thank you very much. Thank you, John, and you did just fine. Uh, my name is Manuel Aguilar. I am a friend of Kristen Smart's. I'm here to ask about a budget price that was requested specifically by Sheriff Parkinson. Um, he asked for little more than 179000 for a cold case detective to help assist him with Kristen Smart's case, along with many other cold case files that he has sitting on his shelf in need of someone to assist. Um, this request was denied by County Administrator Bakshi, um, so it never came to the board to vote on. The, the board never even got to see it. We made calls and found out that there is a solution, that there were, quote, ample funds in a discretionary account for this kind of thing. And the only solution is to show up today at this meeting and public re publicly request it, which is why I stand before you today. Um, I'm here to represent my friend Kristen Smart, who has been missing for 20 years from this county, from our backyard. Someone, at, I'll tell you, the youth out here is losing faith in our system. They're losing faith in our sheriff. I believe Sheriff Parkinson is a good man, that he does want to assist us in bringing our friend home. Um, I'm here to request that the board reconsider this, add into the budget, and I'm pleased to be able to stand up here and speak for my friend Kristen Smart, who can no longer speak for herself. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, Mr. Buckshy, would you like to respond to that or not? Sure. Dan Buckshy, County Administrator, uh, just a couple points. Uh, last year, uh, there was a request for an investigator, and it was brought forth to your board, just to clarify that as part of budget hearings. And uh, Sheriff Parkinson did make a request again this year, and it will be considered as part of the 16-17 year budget, which will be introduced to the board on May 17th, and budget hearings will be held in mid-June, at which you can, can consider it at that time. Thank you very much. Okay, I have no further speak In that regard, now the sheriff put forth in the last budget, 1516 and page C-125, he requested a cold case detective to work full time on cold cases. And uh, that was recommended that it be denied. And the Board of Supervisors approved the budget denying the, the sheriff that cold case detective. Okay, very good. April. Mimi Goldberg, followed by Natalie Reisner. Good morning, board. My name is Mimi Goldberg, and um, I stand here before you this morning 
Uh, please, I'm, we are re requesting that you take a second look at finding the position requested by Sheriff Ian Parkinson himself um, to help with the backing of cold case crimes in SLO. Kristen Smart is my friend, and I'm honored to stand before you and speak for a young co-ed who can no longer speak for herself. Please, let's give this family some closure. Please. Thank you. Thank you. Natalie Reisner, followed by Ben Defada, please. Good morning. My name is Natalie 